Most people don't know this, but we've lost 25 to 40 percent of the world's corals. And if you wonder if that'll make a difference or not, you should ask yourself, do you like to breathe? Land plants only produce about one-third the oxygen we breathe. The rest comes from the ocean. I'm Dr. Dave Vaughn, and I'm the program manager for coral restoration at the Moat Tropical Research Center in the Florida Keys. I actually grow coral for planting back out on the reef. It's been coined as my Eureka moment, or Eureka mistake where I broke a coral into tiny pieces and I thought it was going to die and be very stressed and instead it grew like the Dickens. Each of these in just a few months grow to the size that would have taken a few years. It was after that accident that I knew that we could restore reefs and it was really a new lease on life and a new brightness of what this whole career in coral research could do. This is what I'd like to call the ocean simulator. So we can actually simulate what the water will be like a hundred years from now. So we can try to forecast which of these corals are still going to be winners and utilize the ones that we know will be better adapted in the future to those conditions. I always wondered how long it would be that I'd still be able to dive. Now I know you can dive as long as you want. Oh, you're never too old to dive. I'm not going to retire until I hit a million corals planted back on the reef. With the right conditions, we can do it in the next three to five years. People think that we've ruined this planet by technology, but with technology, we can bring it back. <laughs>